Hi everyone. So in this episode, we will finally learn how to create screen flows. First of all, if you have come so far and you have seen all the previous episodes, then give a pat on your back because uh, finally you know all the elements, all the basics of the elements uh, that are used in Salesforce flows. Okay. Now let's just create a screen flow and check out its benefits and how we can use that. Let's click on new flow button. And you know the drill in the list of flows, we will select a screen flow because we want to create a screen flow. Now let's just wait for a second and read out what it says. It guides users through a business process that's launched from lightning pages, experience cloud sites, quick actions and more. So basically with screen flows, we can guide users through a business process. Like if we want to show them something, if you want them to fill out a feedback form or a a case form or an account form account information we can do that with screen flows okay and we can of course launch it from lightning pages experience cloud sites quick actions and many more okay so let's just click on create and let's create our first screen flow so let's take it to free form and drag it here so in today's uh, episode we will create a feedback form in which the user will fill up uh, their experience and after that we will just insert it into the database using the create records element from the data section and after that we will just show them another screen with a thank you message that your feedback is submitted and we will get back to you soon okay so let's take a screen first and let's create a form for the feedback Let's take first a text in which we will ask about user's name and make it required and that's it. Um, let's add a provide help text in which we will type please enter your name. Providing help is always a great idea for users to help them understand what they uh, should be filling in this input okay after that uh, we will ask user about their phone so let's drag and drop phone here so if you'll add an input type for phone you have to add the validations for it but if you add the phone element then you don't have to add any validation to it okay just add phone here and if you want to add any patterns like uh, because the phone number can be different in other the countries you can do that here and you can add a placeholder like let's see for in placeholder uh, we will write this so this is the format the user will understand in which format uh, they should write the phone number and um, that is it after that let's write an email and drag it here because we want to know the user's email as well email and that is it the placeholder is correct after that let's take text area and ask the user about the experience or their feedback your feedback will be the perfect name and that is it i think let's keep it simple and sweet and now let's add the screen name and just save the screen feedback form and that is it let's hide the pause button because that is of no use here and let's hide the previous button as well because we don't want the user to go previous there is no previous screen um that is it all looks fine this is our screen this is our feedback form and let's click on done after this we have added the screen here let's connect it okay so when the user will fill this and click on next what will happen we will create a record and we will add the feedback to our database let's write feedback how many records we want to create one record how to set the fields we will use separate resources and literal values because we have the text boxes um, let's write here feedback this is the object that I have created for this example and here we will add in name we will add name text and 
then we had phone and we will add phone here phone dot value and we had email in the field and we will add email dot value okay after that we had feedback and here we will add feedback text area that is it the field are here and let's click on done and let's connect it so the feedback is inserted to the database now what we want is we want to show the screen to the user that your feedback is submitted successfully let's add a display text here right thank you um Thank you for your feedback. We will get back to you soon. Okay. Um, let's just make it a little interesting. And bold. And let's make it in center. That is it. Our screen looks good. Mm, let's just add the screen name. Thank you, screen. And hide the previous and pause button. You should hide these buttons if they are of no use because the user can get confused with them. Let's click on done and our flow is done let's save it debug it and see its magic feedback form let's save it and let's debug it run so this is the screen that we have created name, phone, email and uh, your feedback text area. In the name we have made it required and in the text, help text we have added, please enter your name. So let's enter my name. In phone number we have added the placeholder so the user will understand how to write their phone number. So let's say this and then for example email let's type sfdc.com okay um had a great time attending your event let's say this is the feedback let's click on done and uh, see if the feedback is inserted to the database and the success message shows here let's click on none and here's the success message thank you for your feedback and we'll get back to you soon let's now go back to feedback object and see if there is any feedback okay so here's the tab for feedback let's go there and yes as you can see there's one feedback that we have added here let's click on it and see the screen so here's the detail, the phone number, email, feedback message and feedback username. Okay, so that was it. That was today's example. This is how you can use the screen element to interact with your user. You can ask the user something. Then we did some database work here and then you showed the user something. Okay, so screen element is basically uh, for interacting with users. Screen flow as well is for interacting with users and guiding the users through the flow process like uh, what step to be done after this first step. Okay, so that is it. That was today's example. Uh, I have some notes for you. Uh, have a look at it. Keep them in mind and keep practice and practice that will make you perfect for screen flows and for flows in general. I'll see you super soon in my next episode. Till then, bye bye. Take care and keep learning.